What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon of all time, Appleton. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button, join the Genius community, and stay up to date on all of my content. But like I said, we are using Appleton today. It is an apple pie dragon. What is there not to love about it? Super cool Pokemon, very bulky on the defensive side. And if you can set up Leech Seed and Iron Defense, this Pokemon can pretty much saw any physical attacker. But we can get started here in the top left corner with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Grimmsnarl. If you guys know me, you guys already know that I love Grimmsnarl, one of my favorite support Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. This one's Rockin' Prankster as its ability, the Citrus Berry as item, then it has Fake Out, Parting Shot, Spirit Break, and Scary Face for a move set. So pretty awesome Grimmsnarl, just not rocking screens. Second Pokemon is going to be Meowth Gravada. is that starter that is solid on any team. It has Protean alongside with the Choice Band to make it do a crazy amount of damage. Move set consists of Flower Trick, Knock Off, U-Turn, and Sucker Punch. Third Pokemon is going to be Appleton. I'm seriously hoping we can set up this Pokemon in today's video, get the Lead Seed rolling, get the Iron Defense bulking up, and all that good stuff. It has Thick Fat as its ability to half the damage of Ice and Fire moves coming up against it. Then it's got the Leftovers as its item, then it's Rock and Leech Seed, Apple Acid, Iron Defense, and Amnesia. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Frigoraph. Frigoraph is just so good at setting Trick Room and countering it at the same time. This one has Armor Tail as its ability, Rocky Helmet as its item, and then it's got Psychic, Hyper Voice, Trick Room, and Nasty Pot to set up that special attack boost. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Golden Go, arguably the strongest Pokemon in the rank series as of right now. It has good as gold as ability, Life Orb as item, Nasty Pot, Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, and Recover. Never use a Golden Go with Recover, so maybe this can come in clutch. Final Pokemon is going to be Palmont, and I love me some Palmont. I don't know, I love this Pokemon so much due to its new move, Revival Blessing. This one has Volt Absorb as its item, Focus Hatch as its uh, item. I should have said Volt Absorb as its ability. So Volt Absorb as its ability, Focus Hatch as its item. Then it's got Fake Out, Nuzzle, Close Combat, and Revival Blessing for its four moves. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Apple Ton team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Pelipper and Floatzel Rain team that also features Miascarada, Kilowattle, King Gambit, and Mousehold. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? Do I lead Appleton? I could potentially just straight up lead Appleton. Appleton's not a bad lead here, but I feel like a few Pokemon can rip into it, just like the Kilowattle or the uh, or the Miascarada can get some work done on it with the Dark Moves, take off my... Uh, my leftovers, there's just a lot of options. But I don't know, do I lead the Appleton or do I not? Because if they lead Rain, Appleton's obviously a solid lead. But if they lead Kilowattle, it's not going to be that good. So I think I'm going to lead a Pokemon more so like Palmont here. <clears throat> just kind of pose a threat, all that good stuff. Or I can just straight up lead Miascarada because Miascarada can kind of get after both those. So yeah, I'm going to go Choice Band Miascarada for a nice lovely lead. And I am going to maybe try to pop a Trick Room here, right? Especially if they're going into Tailwind. I can just go into Frigograph, pop a Trick Room. Go from there. All right, I'm with it. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go Golden Go, and I'm going to bring the lovely Apple Pie in the back end, right? Got to showcase the Apple Pie Dragon. I love this Pokemon so much. It's obviously not the best on the rank ladder, but it is such a fun Pokemon to use, especially with lead seeds and all that. It's kind of like the Ferrothorn, but like Ferrothorn's not here anymore because Ferrothorn was an absolute monster back in Sword and Shield. It was so good. It's typing just phenomenal. You can lead seed set up. It can outbulk a lot of different Pokemon. They can just go from there. Plus, it has Iron Barbs too, as a, which was an amazing ability. But he double leads flying. Double leads flying. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. And I could U-turn pivot here. I could 100% U-turn pivot if I want to. I could sucker punch. I think I'm going to U-turn pivot. If I can U-turn pivot, I can go into Golden Go. Ooh, this is tough. I could set up a plot here too. But yeah, I'm 100% going to U-turn pivot here. I should outspeed these guys, right? Do I outspeed a Kilowattle? I know Miascarada is fast. Like, look at that thing. Fast, fast. I'm just hoping I can outspeed Kilowattle. But who do I go after here? I feel like Kilowattle is more of a problem. I'm going to go Kilowattle. I am going to pop a Trick Room. And I'm going to go from there. Yeah. So Hurricane come wow, you outspeed me. You quick little booger. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gone. Just KO'd me like that. And this thing, I think he's doubling up on hurricanes in the rain. Just doubling up on hurricanes, right? Yep, doubling down on hurricanes. Do not, do not give me the ducks. Do not duck me. What did I say? 
What did I just say? And now I'm going to get hit in confusion. Battle's pretty much over, right? Don't you do it to me, Giraffe. Giraffe. Let's go. Let's go, Giraffe. Giraffe came to play. Giraffe came to play. Okay, so the matches are twisted. I could go in the gold and go here. Which I'm really leaning towards, right? I gotta go in the golden go. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pop a little bit of golden go action. Uh, do I make it rain or do I just straight shadow ball? I think it rain's really not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna straight shadow ball. I could terrestrialize here, but I really don't want to. I want my steel typing. So I'm gonna start going after you and I'm gonna just start hyper voicing across the board. Do I hyper voice or do I psychic? I'm gonna hyper voice just in case uh, the what's called doesn't KO. The shadow ball won't KO. And Hyper Voice actually worked out perfectly here. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm ducked. I'm ducked. Come on. Hit up. Not on yourself, Rigraph. Hurts the soul when you, when you lose turn to confusion. Shadow Ball's gonna fly. I still feel like this does a nice chunk of damage. Maybe even KOs. It does. Okay, cool. So Shadow Ball picks up the easy KO. He's gonna potentially maybe bring out Floatzel. Right? Floatzel could be a problem here. But I do have the Apple Pie. I could always swap it to straight into the Apple Pie. Nope, Gambit's gonna come out here. So Gambit comes out here, and oh, 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 how do I deal with this one? How do I deal with the Gambit here? I feel like I can't, right? I feel like I can't deal with Gambit. I mean, I have Armor Tail. I do have Armor Tail. That is huge. I have an Armor Tail. And you know, at this point, I feel like I have to Terrasilize. I mean, I can't do any damage to it. That's my problem. I simply cannot do any damage to that thing. I'm gonna try to get rid of the Pelipper. It's my only, it's my only option here. Target Punch comes through here. Good thing he's wasting turns. I got the Armor Tail. And we're going from there. I'm still quacking up here. Please, can you just hit? Thank you. And then not be confused next turn. The Hyper Voice does a good chunk of damage. Golden Go, can you? No, you don't outspeed? You eat though. Big time plays from Golden Go. Shadow Ball should be able to pick up a KO. And then I should have one more turn with uh, Golden Go. But this is just a problem. It's just a straight problem. It's a straight problem, that, that game. Because the only way I'm KOing it is popping Iron Defenses and getting off Leech Seeds with Appleton. So I kind of got to target down that Miascarada at this point. Right? Just pop and make it rain. And then just Hyper Voice it. Like, that's the only way. I have to get rid of Miascarada and then have Appleton come clean up this battle. You're still confused? Bro, can you land us, please? Four turns, four turns? That's absurd. That is absurd. Kowtow Cleave comes in here, and he goes after Frigoraph. So he takes out my Frigoraph. It's kind of tough. Rocky Helmet does some nice damage, which is good. And is this thing sashed? This thing sashed, we could be in some trouble. Please don't be sashed. Just pick up the K out here. It's sashed. Dude, it hurts my, hurts my soul. Hurts my soul. Trick Room is still out and about. Sash can come out here. Life Orb's probably gonna KO us. Did we take Life Orb damage yet? No, there it is. Life Orb KOs us. Oh my lord. What do I do here? What does Jeans do here? I'm terrified. I don't not know what to do here. I don't have Protect. I have Apple Pie though. Apple Pie coming in here. I was really confused for four turns. That's absurd. That's absurd. Can we go here. Uh. I feel like I have to Apple Acid the Miascarada. We go first. I'm going to Apple Acid the Miascarada. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to hope that doesn't protect here. It might double protect. But Apple Pie. I have faith in him. Sucker Punch flying here. That's doing a big chunk of damage. Apple Acid comes through. Okay. I get leftovers. I do get leftovers HP. Apple Pie. Let's get it, baby. Let's do it. Do I Seed Leech? I think Leechy's gonna do more damage and help us out tremendously. Because Apple Acid isn't going to do nothing. I think like Leechy's gotta be the play. Apple Acid's going to do nothing, and we already know that. So I'm gonna Leech Seed up here. Iron Head coming out here. You eat. Do not flinch. Leech Seed connects. Can we eat up another Iron Head after this? This is why I wish we had Protect. This is really why I wish we had Protect. We might be able to eat up another one after this Leftovers and Leech Seed HP. If we had Protect, this would be a simple GG. So how much HP am I at? We're cutting it close. We are cutting it super close. 
I just, I legit just need to survive the shot. That's what it comes down to. So we go in here. He goes for another iron. Eat this up, apple pie. Apple pie. You're better than that. You are so much better than that. You are so much better than that. But what a first battle. Honestly, we... We, we lost that battle because of all the confusions. We lost two turns of confusion. Would have did a little bit of damage onto the King Gambit, and we would have won that match. Second battle coming at you guys. Wish we would have won that first battle, but I cannot believe we were confused that many turns. Really hurts the soul, but we're going to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Look for a first win for today's video. But we're going up against a really cool off meta team. They got Swift Swim Bear Tick alongside Pelipper and then Volt Absorb Jolteon with Copper Jaw for Rigorath and Amoongus. I really don't mind if they pop the Trick Room. I kind of want to lead Appleton. I don't want to get Appleton out here, get the lead rolling with that Pokemon, maybe with a fake out user such as Palmot or Grimmsnarl. Right? The only problem is if they lead the Swift Swim combo. That could be bad, right? That could be bad. So, what do I do here? That Swift Swim Bear Tick is a problem. It is a problem. I could go Frigraph of my own for a nice little lead. If they go Swift Swim, I could protect the Pokemon and kind of pop trick him and go from there. You know, I'm going to go Golden Go. I'm going to go Frigraph. I'm going to go Appleton. And I'm going to go Miascarada. Not going to overthink it. We're going to lock in this Pokemon. Look for our first win for today's video. But yeah, still very upset at that last one. God dang Frigraph being confused for, what was it, three to four turns? If I had protect on my Appleton, could have had a lot of, could have, could have had a few victories there. Could have had a nice little victory. But we're going to see who our opponent leads. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Pelper come out here. It is going to be Pelper, but with Copper Raja. And Frigraph and Golden could come out here. Copper Raja is just straight steel type. Um, hmm. Did I pop the room full trick? I mean, I could. But I feel, I feel like setting up an Nasty Pot's going to be your play. And then just straight up Shadow Balling into the Pelper slot. That's going to be my play. I doubt they set up Tailwind. I doubt it, right? I, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt they set up Tailwind in this position, right? I really don't think they would. Maybe Hurricane might come out here or something else like that. But I highly doubt he sets up a Tailwind. Maybe a Hydro Pump. We'll see. We shall see. Hydro Pump could do a ridiculous amount of damage. But it has a high chance of missing. I don't know what they're going to do. The Copper Jot leads a little weird. I don't know about that. Maybe set up Iron Defenses on that. But he's just going to straight up Terrasal. Probably. Hopefully the Copper Jot. I don't feel like dealing with Steel type. Yeah. It's going to be Copper Jot. And what typing are you going into? Fire. Okay. Are you attacking my Golden Go with that? That's the real question. Shadow Ball is going to fly. Golden Go is fast on the field right now, which is awesome. And we pick up some big time damage. Big, big time damage. He goes for the Hurricane into... Oh, okay. Maybe he thought I was Terrasalizing. I'm able to soak that, no problem. And Nasty Pot gets set up on my Frig Ramp. I'm really confused with what the Copper Shot is doing. Are you going for a Fire Move in the rain? Yeah, Terra Blast. Can you eat this, Golden Go? In the rain? You might be able to soak this. You do. That's big time. That's big time, Soak. So I have Nasty Pot set up for my Frig Ramp. Um, Hyper Voice can come out here, right? Free Hyper Voice. Do I pop a Trick Room? I could definitely pop a Trick Room. Which I am going to do. Do I pop Trick Room? Yeah. You know, we're going to pop Trick Room, and I'm just going to go into a straight Shadow Ball into the slot. The reason I'm popping the Trick Room is just so my, what's it called, can come out here. My Apple Tongue can come out here and get some work done. So this is a really good turn from us. He protects the Pelipper. I'm popping Trick Room. I'm going after Copper Job with Shadow Ball. And he probably takes out my Golden Girl, right? If I had to guess. Oh, that's a big damage. We like that damage. We like that damage. Iron Head coming out here. And you're going after for Riggs. Riggs, do not flinch. Do not, do not flinch. Rocky Helmet chips up damage. Trick Room's out and about. That's a big time turn. That is a big time turn. But it kind of hurts. It kind of hurts there. Because I did not think he was going after my Frigoraph. So for graphs here, obviously we got we're gonna go for hyper voice here, and I guess we'll go for make it rain if anything, because we die here regardless. Probably shouldn't have went for make it rain, but we're both gonna die here. So both my Pokemon die out here. Um, I'm gonna have to terrestrialize my, which I'm gonna call it, my Appleton, and I might have the choice into a sucker punch, which I 100% think the play is gonna have to be. Hmm. Hmm. So we're choosing into a sucker punch here. We're going into Appleton. 
Um, I have thick fat, so I'm gonna maybe set up a leech seed on the- Actually, no, we're just gonna KO the copper jaw with Ad Blasted. We're just gonna straight up, because this sucker punch should be able to KO you. We're in trick room, we have to do that, and then Apple Acid, just to finish off the Copper Jaw. I like it. I don't see him doing too much damage with a fire move. Hurricane could be scary, but again, we're sucker punching into the Pelipper. We should be able to do enough damage to KO it. So we swap Typhons into Dark, Sucker Punch, again, picks up the KO, no problem. Alright, Appleton, are you slower than Copper Jaw? This is a, this is a close one here. Be slower. You're the man, yo. Apple Pie is a dog. Apple Pie is a dog. Picks up a big time KO on the Copper Jaw. Um, he's gonna bring out his last two Pokemon. That gets Terrasalize still, right? Yeah, I didn't use my Terrasalization. So now I can decide who I want to tear it into. It really depends who they go into. Amoongus is gonna be here. So that's gonna be a little tough, right? This Bear Ticks here. And I'm choosing to. Hmm, I'm choosing a Sucker Punch. This honestly sucks. Because Amoogus is probably just going to Spore. Or Rage Pattern. I'm going to go after the Bear Tick. I'm going to Terrasalize here. Actually, you can't Spore me. If I change, but... Ah, oh, this really sucks. Do I go for the Leech Seed, or do I try to boost my defense? No, I don't want to boost my defense, because the sheer fact is he could, uh... He can just clear Smog me. Amoogus protects. I do not mind that turn. We get off a Leech Seed over here into this thing. And bear with the double protect. So he's trying to waste out uh, turns here. And this sucks because if he rage powder, actually, rage powder will not go against me. Oscar Battle, which is huge. Actually, I'm dark type now, which is honest to god ridiculous. So I might end up terrestrializing me I feel like I have to. Just to go in the grass. I feel like we need to be a grass type Pokemon. Yeah, we need to be a grass type Pokemon. We need to be just, just so that doesn't affect us. And then I'm just going to go Leech Seed, try to get onto the Bear Tick. Hopefully the Rage Powder's not coming out here. The Appleton's chilling here. I do have Thick Fat. Again, there's no point of popping Defense Boost. Let's get an Appleton. I would love to land this Leech Seed onto Bear Tick. So we're hoping no Rage Powder comes out here. We really are. So I end up Terrasalizing. Going straight Grass. Let's do this. Let's see how this one plays out. This is honestly scary. Battle's coming down to the wire. We got my two grassy boys out here. Rage Power does fly. That hurts the soul, but Sucker Punch can still land onto the Bear Tick, which is pretty big. It's huge, because that should be able to do, yes, more than half. Love it. You going after now? Does not, Rage Powder doesn't affect me either, so I get off the lead seat. So we're trying to get rid of this Bear Tick here. <laughs> Ice Punch flying here. We do have Thick Fat, and we eat Thick Fat coming in hot. I get frozen, though. Get out of my face with that. What are the odds of me getting frozen there? Ridiculous that I get frozen there. That is just redonkulous. Leech Seed, I'm getting some HP back. I'm liking that a lot. How many turns is left in Trick Room? We'll love a thaw out. How many turns is left in Trick Room? That's the real question. I'm gonna run out of Sucker Punches. I'm gonna die. How many turns is left in Trick Room? Trick Room's gone? Did Trick Room just end? Did so trick room's gone. Obviously, I have to go into a sucker punch here. And I guess I'll start trying to apple acid this Amoongus down. Sucker punch comes in here. We take out you. I need to thaw out like ASAP. I need to thaw out ASAP. Valpite coming in here. He going after. Wow, that did a little bit too much damage. I have one. Oh, Appleton with a thaw out. That's big time Appleton. That's big time Appleton. So I'm dealing some damage, and the most important thing is it, it's guaranteed a special defense drop, I'm pretty sure. Wow, yo, this battle is wild. <laughs> this battle is wild. <laughs> this battle is wild. So we have one more Sucker Punch left. We're really hoping that uh, Amoongus just stays in here and we can deal damage to it. It does. Cool. It goes for attack move, and we deal damage. So that's, uh, that's the rest of Miascovara that we're going to get. Rocky Helmet's going to chip us up. Apple Ass is going to come in here. Get some more damage on the board, and more importantly, get another special defense drop. Oh, it gets a crit too. We like that. We like that. So special defense drop is down. Movies goes for foul play. Takes out Miascarada. That's totally fine. Miascarada was killing itself in the next turn anyway, because it would have had to struggle out. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Appleton looking to clutch it up here. I got leftovers triggering. I don't really see Amoongus doing a crazy amount of damage to me. 
but I'm thriving here. Apple ass. We need two about two more apple asses, right? And 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 I outspeed him. Apple tongue coming in here. We need one more apple acid. Just one more. Just one more for the apple tongue clutch. Clear smile coming in here. Ooh. 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 All stat change. Wait. It just said all stat changes were, were gone. Does that mean for Appleton? But I think Amoonga should still have its stat changes. Yeah, okay. It's just for Appleton. So now Apple Acid comes in here. GG's. GG's. Right? Appleton clutch. Apple Pie clutching up in battle number two. Loving this Pokemon so far. Almost clutched it us up for us in match number one, but it comes in match number two. Finishes its job, clutches it up, and we are sitting at one and one. Third and final match coming at you guys. Going up against a Pelipper team with Golden Go, Gargonac, Slowbro, Titar, and Amoongus. So two ways of using weather. Kind of a weird team. Hopefully we grab ourselves this winter record and get to use Appleton one more time. But who should I lead here? Do I lead a fake out user with Appleton? Because I feel like Appleton's really not bad up against a few of these Pokemon. I'm really liking Appleton. You know what? I'm going to go Apple. I'm going with the Pie. We're going to go Pie here. I am going to also lead maybe Palmot. I kind of want to lead a fake out user of some sort, right? Maybe even Grimstone. I'll fake out and then party shot out and have it for later. That's also good. Or I can lead a straight up Miyazakarada you turn out or use it for our advantage. Because if they go into Slowbro, we're super effective. If they go into... Oh yeah, Miyazakarada is definitely the call. Because if they go into Slowbro, we're super effective. If they go into Golden Go, we're super effective. If they go into Gargle Knackle, we're super effective. If they go into T-Tar, we're super effective. Miyazakarada is just here. Plus, I can always U-turn out and go into something else. Golden Go is going to be our next Pokemon we want to bring because Golden Go is an absolute beast. And then you know what? We're going to bring a little bit of Paul by action in the back end to maybe get off a Revival Blessing at the end. That could be huge. So we're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's grab ourselves a winning record considering we are sitting 1-1. One 1-1. One. One one. Right now, Apple Appleton almost clutched up the first battle, but it did clutch up that second battle, so I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. But what was really clutch about the second battle was our opponent did not know we were choosing a sucker punch, and we were like, we had one more sucker punch left, left, and luckily we were able to hit it. That was really big for us. And luckily we stayed grass, so Spore couldn't hit us or Rage Powder, so it really worked well. But they go Golden Go, and... And Amoongus. So from here, you know what? I just think setting up a Leech Seed might be my play. Let's go Leech Seed and just you turn out here. I mean, I'm Grass type. Do I just Sucker Punch? I mean, I already outspeed. We might as well just go into a knockoff, right? I have a choice to do a knockoff here. Only go for tax. That hurts. But what are you going to do here? That's the real question. What are you doing? Clear smogging me? What, like, like, what are you doing here? What are you going to do here? That's a, that, is, that is the real question. That is the real question. What are you doing here? Clear smog. Okay. Wow, that did that did a little bit too much damage there. That's fine. I still feel like I set up a lead seed here, right? Who do you have in the back end to counter what, what, I'm, what I'm throwing at you right now? No one, right? I think we just go into the same turn. I mean, I'm a dark type now. If it does go for Rage Powder, Rage Powder's gonna slide over, but I still will be able to get off a Leech Seed onto Golden Go. Which I love. Which I love to get off a Leech Seed onto Golden Go. We'll see. He withdraws Golden Go. Again, who are you gonna, who are you gonna swap into? Your Pelper, maybe? Tyrantar. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Titar coming out here. So, Titar gets a swap in here. We're gonna knock off his item. We're gonna say, see you later, item. That's huge. And then we set up this lead sheet. So safety goggles is gone. What's the point of your safety goggles? No spores? Right? Was that your play? Lead sheet comes out here, though. And he's going to clear smog me. The clear smog chipping up some damage. I do get lead sheet and I get leftover, so it's going to be big for us. And then I just think I stay into a knockoff and I knock off the, uh... Knock off the Moongus alongside with Apple Acid onto the, uh, T-Tar? Where do I swap my Miyazakarada? Now, I feel like we're fine here. I could Iron Defense. I could Iron Defense. But I feel like we just leave Titar on the field here. He's, he's free HP for me. He's legit free HP. So I'm thinking of just setting up Iron Defense and just going after the uh, the Amoongus more so, right? Knock off, taking off his item and going from there. Definitely in place. Especially because Titar might even protect this turn. Two Grass Pokemon out on the field? Definitely doesn't like that. I don't. I just don't understand that swap there. That swap is a little, little weird, but... If you didn't swap into T-Tar, then Golden Go just rips. 
is dead, right? So, that's where we're at. That's where we're sitting at right now. So they end up Terrasalizing. It's probably Titar, right? It's gotta be Titar. So Titar's gonna Terrasalize. Cool, cool, cool. I'm about it. I'm, I'm with you here. Air. We do not like that. That, 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 that is one thing we don't like. We're not about it. We're not about it. We're not about it. Unless you go in there for Miascarada, then, then I feel like I'm cool with that. Because, wow, that damage huge. And you have an effect spore? Wild. That is wild. Can you just kill my Miascarada here? Just kill my Miascarada. Just kill it, please. Leave my Apple Town alone. Thank you. Just can that. Thank you. Okay, so he takes out my Miascarada. Uh, Golden Go can outspeed. And then I can just Revival Bust him later. Iron Defense is out here. That's huge. I'm sitting plus two. We love it. And again, Golden Go should be able to outspeed. Clear Smog comes out here. Doing some nice chunk of damage. But my defense is bulked. Actually, it's not bulked anymore. I just lost that turn. I hate Clear Smog, man. I'm just trying to set up defense bulks. And you're doing that to me. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool at all. But still, Appleton's getting some work done. He's slowly chipping up onto the C-Tar here. Um, we just have to bring out a faster Pokemon, right? Which would be Golden. I could go Palmot and just fake out and then set up an Iron Defense. And then Revival Blessing. But I know we outspeed. So, I think it's my play. How did I send Golden go? Did I run out? What just happened? Did I just run out of time there and was forced to send out Golden go? I thought I was sending out Palma. I, I really wanted Palma out there. That's that that is the dumbest thing ever. Palma would have just pretty much solidified the match for us. Did I misclick? I might have misclicked because Palma would have been able to outspeed no problem. I fake out KO the Moongus. Then I revival bust the next turn. Like, I'm insane beautiful. Okay, I'm still gonna go for the iron defense. And I'm just gonna go for the make it rain. That hurts. That's really bad. But okay, still we outspeed. That's huge. Okay, that's pretty much GG's regardless. Yeah, I really want a palm out there. Palm out would have been sick. Just to pop up a nice little revival blessing and go from there. But going to go drops to make it rain. That's a huge double KO. I'm gonna be able to pop an iron defense here and get my plus two back on the field. And yeah, it's pretty much over with now. It is 100% over with. It's 100% over with. Actually, no. They still have Golden Go. They still have two. I thought they had one Pokemon left. But I still have Revival Blossom, which is going to be huge for us. My attack is minus two right now. Or it's minus one, my special attack. But I have my Pi. My Pi is getting some work done. So I'm thinking of setting up a Leech Seed here. Maybe. Probably. Could do that. But he's going to throw out Gargle now. Yeah, so we're going to set up a Leech Seed on the Gargle. I'm going to set up the Leech Seed over there. I'm going to th uh, throw a Shadow Ball into the uh, Golden Go slot. And then we'll go from there. I'm with it. So Leech Seed coming into you. And then Shadow Ball going after you. Wow, I really want Miascarada here. Miascarada could be so good. That's why Palmot's going to be a beast. Palmot is going to be a monster. In the back end. But I really would have... I would have loved to have Palmot this turn. Everything worked out fine. He protects the Golden Go. That's fine. If I can get off this Leech Seed, this could be a big turn for us. And I think we are going to. I need my leech seeds. I need to set up my seeds, baby. I need to set up my seeds. He's going to salt cure me. That's fine. He's going to chip up some damage that way. But if I can land this leech seed, we can kind of cancel it out. We do. Awesome. And I'm going to try to land another leech seed. Thing is, if my golden go is slower than his golden go, he's just going to KO my golden go. So I might want to throw down another leech seed. I don't know. Do I want to do that? What's my player? What is the Genes player? We're getting the seeds back. We're doing pretty good here. Getting back some HP. And then Salkir comes in hot. The Salkir seems to kind of counteract my Leech Seeds. And you know what? Do I go for this? Yeah, I'm going to go for another Leech Seed. Just for the sheer fact it's just in case that Golden Go is slower. If my Golden Go is slower. Because again, then he just picks up the KO. And then we kind of go from there. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. We shall see. I think I still have Terrasalization. Golden Go goes for another, another Protect. That was really dumb. Should've just attacked me. Shadow Ball comes out here. That's gonna pick up the KO, no problem. Even though we're minus one. See you later. 
And yeah, it's just GG from there. It's just we constant Shadow Ball, and I can always bring back Miascarada if I want to. Yeah, this, this match is a wrap. This match is an absolute wrap. He goes for Salt Cure, gets it on both my Pokemon. It's no problem. Appleton team grabbing ourselves a winning record. We love it. We love it. The Leech Seed fails. It's cool. I wish you could stack Leech Seeds. That'd be hilarious. Just more HP, but that would be so broken. That'd be so broken because Leech Seed already, like, by itself is a crazy underrated move. It is so good. Especially paired up with leftovers, you just get a ridiculous amount of HP. But I want to see if we're actually gaining HP if we're losing HP. So I start off at 100. I get my leftovers. I get my Leech Seed. And we go to a total of plus what? Plus 35 HP we get. Wow, that Sulkir did a lot of damage. Sulkir does so much damage. So we go plus 35. We get 35 HP at the end of every, end of every single turn. And we are we're basically gaining 8 HP at the end of every single turn. Which isn't anything crazy. But it's better than losing HP. But from here, I just go for Make It Rain. I go for an Apple Acid. It's over with. Your Gargoyle Knackle is not winning this match. There's no chance. There's no chance. Because even if it gets past my Appleton and my Golden Ghost somehow, I just bring out Palmot. I pop a Revival Blessing. I bring out my Miascarada. I Flower Trick. I KO in one shot. I can actually Terrasilize the Flower Trick because I haven't used my Terror yet. It's light work. It's light work. We're like that here. We're like that here on the Jeans channel. So if you're not following, subscribed, liking up the video yet, Get on top of that. Get on top of that. But I've been using a lot of cool off-meta Pokemon that I really, really like. Like Appleton, Ampharos. We just used Dragalge. Having a blast with a lot, of, a lot of these Pokemon. And we just used another one, which was cool. Who did I just use? I kind of want to look it up. Let's go to my most recent video on the Gene channel. Did I just used Ampharos. And who was the other one? Espeon. Yeah, we just used Espeon. Espeon was really, really cool. I really did like using Espeon. This person's going for the stall, like, I, 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 I don't know what you're doing, like, we, we got you, we got you right on the ropes here. We got you right on the ropes. <laughs> we got you right on the ropes. We're just mashing A here. Pop and make it rains, all that good stuff. He's got a wide guard, but then you still have to take a nice, lovely apple ass. The wide guard's smart play, I guess, but you're not winning it. Like, you're going to do all this just to waste your time. You are not win this battle. Give it up. Cancel the battle. Apple ass is coming in here, and yo. Appleton ripping. Appleton ripping. And Leech Seed's actually the KO. Are you weak this policy? No, it's leftovers. I wasn't even paying attention. But uh Leech Seed should be able to KO here, I think. Good old Leech Seed. So we get our leftovers HP. Does Leech Seed pick up the KO here? I think it can. I think it should too. Let's make it happen. Did it? I don't think it did. There's the soul. But dude, this match is over. Just give it up. Our opponents are wasting my time, they're wasting their own time, and wow, that Salt Cure did a crazy amount of damage there. I took out my Golden Gun, but now I just revive a blessing, because we already know what's happening. Actually, it don't matter what's happening. It doesn't matter. I was going to say, he's going to protect and just uh, kind of go from there, but if he protects, Leech Seed just KOs. You're done for. You're done for. Paul Much is going to give you the clap ski for the victory. That's what we're going to do. We're going to clap on him to get the victory. Little two hand clap for the victory. Round of applause, baby. Round of applause. Paul Mott gives us a round of applause for a victory. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two of one for today's video. Winning record with this amazing Appleton team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video. Grabbing ourselves a winning record with this amazing Appleton team. I've been loving using the off meta Pokemon. Appleton fits into that category perfectly. And we got to use it to its fullest potential. Got some lead sheets out there. Got some iron defenses out there. Apple acid doing some work. All that good stuff all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend a positive day. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.